All right, guys, so welcome back to another episode, or I should say another day back in the water world apocalypse. I do want to say a massive thank you to everyone on the previous episode who showed love. You guys really seem to enjoy this. So we're going to be continuing with it today. Now, this one's going to be a little bit different. I am going to be solo today. And the reason for it is basically I had catastrophic issues with the next recording that we did with me and Fisk. You guys are going to see that on Fisk's channel. But I thought, seeing as though I had a little bit more time, that I wanted to kind of do some solo stuff and I guess catch you guys up on what you might have missed. So in that episode, we decided that we would try and make sense of everything because we were really all over the place. And then what we would do was go out to a couple more islands, which I believe the islands that we went to were, they were only small ones. We went to the traders to see if we could get some stuff. I got a couple of batteries. And we went to that island over there where we basically recovered as much wood as possible. And then you see this thing here. It almost looks like the top of a building poking out the water. This thing right here. We went over there and I believe it was marauders that were over there. There was two of them which had rifles. <laughs> and then we just circled around that thing and just tried to take them down. Which we eventually did. And we came away with a load of scraps, some extra little goodies. And then we made our way back here. So all in all, as much as we did quite a lot of exploration, I'm going to show you guys what's changed here. I didn't notice that those things were growing there either. Actually, I'm going to snack on those real quick. I really like the strawberries. They top off everything. Oh, also, <laughs> I did see a lot of the comments from you guys. Somebody left a comment saying, in honor of Tuck and Roll from the forest, which is going way back to. It was like a little smile on my face when I read that. We've called our little duck, Duck and Roll. <laughs> and this one is Fisk's. He called it Roland Duck. And his duck is a raging alcoholic. And this is his mega pint. So <laughs> don't ask, guys. <laughs> don't ask. All right. So when we were here last time, things looked a little bit different. We had the bed down and like one or two crates. This is basically just like drop boxes. So when we go out, just adventuring, just scavenging what we can find, we throw things into there and then we organize it later. Nothing much has really changed extra with the base. I think I added a couple more walls. But let me just throw this down. Can't always close this thing. You're not going to work. There we go. Close. And if I bring you guys up here, we added a bunch more of these, uh, these metal chests. And as you can see, we're looking a little bit different. This is just everything that we found while we were out. And I believe Fisk made like one or two extra things like this. The combat armor and the flippers, which we badly needed. It was like... Marlin and rubber, I believe, in order to make that. And then we've just gone around and organized everything. I still need to do that as well. So yeah, we've just got a couple more chests, some clothing. This is all the scrap that we have. And then this is just the everything box that still needs organizing. And these are the batteries that I got from the, uh, from the outpost too. And then just the rubber and the valuables that we found that we still haven't sold. So you guys are pretty much up to date. We got a research table now. We got this thing, which we tried to repair the weapons with. It didn't work though. But the research table does give us access to some juicy little things that we've got our eyes on, like the percussion pistol. Look at that. The triple barrel pistol. Ooh, the backpack. Ooh, I might try and get shark skin. Is that going to be the uh, the hammerheads that are a bit further out over that way? We did come across them. Oh, yeah, we took this one down too. Like, it's basically just the same thing as what we've seen before. They were just running towards us, and we used our bow and arrows just to try and use that to our advantage, but... Yeah, we, uh, we need to get that. I definitely want that rucksack. And we can make components here as well. We got a safe as well. Air filling station. I'll show you guys what else we've added. We've got like a little garden area over here where we're just growing stuff. It all needs to be trimmed down. But we're trying to grow cotton. We've got, what are these? Are these the spuds, the potatoes and things? We've got an extra wood. What's in here? This is just the ore. We did make some pickaxes just so we could mine on the way to. And we made the crossbow, which I've not tested this thing yet. I'm definitely going to though. But yeah, you guys can see, we've just gone around just doing the basics. But this thing, I believe, is... Is this the furnace? I think it is. And we can get ingots from this. This is the updated grill, which I'm going to take that. I think Fisk left that, but I'm going to snack on that. He's never going to know about it. We've got an anvil too. Now, this is probably the best thing that we added. Because you can pump seawater into this. I think if you're within a certain range. And then you've essentially got an endless supply of water doing that. So you guys are all pretty much up to date now. I haven't done anything else with the boat, although some of you guys did say that I should look into getting the better boat, which I'm guessing is the one we didn't have. I think I found this on a blueprint, but I think it was that one, but 
Yeah, let's see if we can go about getting this today. So I need 10 rubber, 10 components, and some scrap. So, yeah, you guys are going to come along with me. We're doing a little bit of solo survival. And like I was saying, I just wanted to play catch up with you guys just in case you didn't happen to, to see the other episode. That is never going to see the light of day unless you go over to Fist Channel and you, you can check everything out there, which I advise you do so. Go and check it out and see what we did. A lot of you guys were letting me know as well that I can change things around. I can pick them up and move them. I just needed to get this thing, the uh, the packaging box, <laughs> which is actually really, really helpful as well because the boxes that were stacked on top of each other there, ooh, that drove me insane. All right, let me put that in there too. I'm not going to need that. Let's just eat this. Put that in there as well. I'm going to keep some wood on me and get rid of the worms. I found this mirror in, like, in the middle of nowhere. And I've, uh, I've got the crossbow bolts as well. We're good components i'm gonna keep those oh we're gonna have a nice new shiny boat to be able to play around with today the problem is i don't know if we need to get like gasoline or something so i may need to be really careful with this we do have a uh, a limited amount of stuff that we can use because it did take us a little while to do the uh, the old diving into the ocean avoiding all the sharks and not drowning <laughs> getting all the stuff back here safely as well but we go to build this and we got ourselves a motorboat there we go Oh, yeah, look at this. Chest. So uh, at least I can throw my stuff in there if I need to. Actually, I'm going to take that back in just a second. That's going to drive me insane. But, yeah, we got we got some extra space if we want to do that. Change color. Oh, that's just for, like, what you can do with the mass there. So we've got two vehicles now that we can stock things up with. As soon as though it's still pretty early in the day, I am going to go out and do that right now. Because there are some extra things that I do want to get made. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I do need to add fuel to you. No! Hold on a second. Is that just nine? I mean, that's better than nothing. So we definitely do need fuel for this. Okay, good to know. Right, let's pilot this. And here we... Oh, this is so much quicker. Okay, I didn't think it was going to be that much quicker. Right, where do we want to go to? I want to do a little bit of exploration. So let's go, like, up there. But this thing over here, this I think this is like a, a machinery place. We definitely didn't want to... Let me just turn this off real quick. We definitely didn't want to go over there just yet because it seemed like we needed a little bit more firepower. That's why we took this on. And over there as well, yeah, we avoided that. So let's just go in this direction. We're going to go and check out what all this stuff is. So we've got the apartments, the village, mutants raft... Yeah, so back over there. i got to be careful what areas I go into, though, because I'm probably going to make an enemy out of someone, and then we're going to get into a fight real quick while I'm on my own. Look at all this stuff, though. There's so many different islands that I really want to look at. I mean, again, I say this all the time, but you guys know me by now. If there's a shiny thing, I'm going straight for whatever that shiny thing is. And there's so much to see. Right, we want to do a right. Let's go this way. This should be empty now, unless... These guys are back here, which I don't think they are. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're, they're back here yet. Look how cool that is, though. I really wish, once you got rid of them off of this, that you could use this as maybe just a temporary base or something. I feel like that would be really, really nice. Can we break these down? No. I think we got everything off of this. Like, even picking this stuff up. Maybe you can do that, but it would be nice. So cool looking as well. Everything really does have that, like, survivor apocalyptic feel. And that's why I really, really do like this. A lot of you guys were saying that too. So if we keep going behind this island... What are they? Like silos or something? If we keep going behind this island... That's where... Oh, there's so much. <laughs> that's where we want to discover. So up and then up again. So there and then up again. Keep an eye on the time. We are going to probably go in through night time here, which means it's going to get cold. And I don't have the um, the extra layer of clothing, but we'll still do a little bit of exploration. I got my crossbow. Plenty of bolts. We should be all right. Things keep catching my eye under the water, too. I wonder if I could show you guys this. I don't know if this is, this is actually smart, but this area here is where... We noticed after taking this thing down, there was hammerhead sharks around this area. Let me see if we can see. Now, we've got more ruins down there, which looks amazing. Look at that. Straight into the deep. 
but there, there were hammerhead sharks just floating around here. Let me get to the surface. There we go. All right, let's keep it moving then. I'm guessing we're going to have to take one of them down at some point because he said that we needed the shark skin for... What was it? The backpack. Are they going to get annoyed at me having a weapon out? Oh, no. Wait a second. Oh, that's what we discovered back there. Faraway Island. I think he has a, a rifle or something. Yeah, let's let's just keep it a wide berth from them. So we want to keep going, yeah, around that way. All right, so it was the first one we found there, and then it's this one. So we kind of want to circle back around this way again. Got it. But you can see those nodes up there, just like on the kind of side of the hill. That's what we uh, we grabbed the pickaxes for, just so we could <laughs> we could mine away. Look at the buildings, though. Like held together with old like steel and any kind of material that they can find. So, so cool. I really, really do like it. Let's go over to these. See what's happening here. I do need to do a few dives as well to see if I can bring back some stuff. Just so we've got extra of whatever we need resource-wise in case we want to build something. Yeah, there's an island over there too. Really want to go there. What's that one? That's undiscovered. All right, let's see what this is first and then we'll go to the left. <laughs> this looks really weird. It's two massive balls sticking out of the ocean. What? Oh, wait, they're on a rock. Oh, look at that. That's so sick looking. That's not a base though, right? That's just going to be potentially just holding water. Oh, it's a refinery. Okay. All right, let's have a look around. Oh, look at this. Got the marlins over there. Okay, I think I should probably do just a little bit of scavenging while I'm here. I did see you guys in the uh, in the comments as well Let me know. That guy is so sick looking too. Saying that, I don't want to go all the way to the end if both of us are scavenging. Like to here, let go, and then the other person can basically scavenge the same thing. But it seems as though it's just me. We'll go and do it all the way this time. I do have the flippers now as well, which buys me a little bit more time. I think that's sulfur, so we don't really need that. Can I climb this? No, I don't think I can. Look at all this business. That antenna's just completely collapsed onto this thing. We've got tires there. I need that for the rubber, so... Let's grab that. What we got here? I'm really not familiar with what you can find where, but obviously, like, the, uh, the pieces of all the piles of metal, that's where you get all the scrap from. The tires is where you get the rubber from. We found out that the, uh, the couches or the sofas, you can get cloth and leather from depending on how they look. We definitely need to replenish the rubber that we use building the boat. What's that? Ooh, what is this? This is something new. Ooh, okay, electric parts, cloth. What is that? Advanced parts, components, rubber, chemical substance. All right, let's go. And this is where having the, uh, the flippers really, really helps. Oh, wait, you can actually go all the way in. Oh, I'm going to have to do that. I need to know what's in it. But I might get caught out here because of the, uh, yeah, the night time. No! Okay, I may have to go back and come back here a little bit later on. Where are we here? At the refinery, okay. See, this is the problem with it. You get so focused on trying to get everything you can. I shouldn't stay in the water with it becoming night time. But you get so focused with staying in the water to try and collect as much as possible that you kind of lose track of time and you can get really cold and it's so dangerous so right let's get back definitely going to be coming back here though there's plenty of marlins as well it's over that way actually let me discover what that one is then because at least and i've been to a fair distance away from where we're calling home and i know where to get back home because i've left the other boat there as well just a mass sticking out the water again this is so cool to me this and I did read all the comments of you guys saying, like, all the cool things that they could add to or, like, being able to just see a random whale in the ocean. And then, even if you wanted to, going after it because of the stuff you could get from it. Obviously, with it being an apocalyptic survival situation, you can't let things go to waste. That would be a lot of food. It'd be a lot of stuff you could use. Just the random stuff that you could do with stuff like this, being out on the ocean. It's definitely one of the coolest scenarios that you'd come across in this type of situation. Doesn't make it any less terrifying, because it really would be. Speaking of... Look at that. It's got like three snipers on the top of this. This is definitely not good. Come on, please kick in. What is it? Oh, what is it? 
It's not telling me what it is. Oh my god, that's bad news. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> what is that? So the, is the power plant here? Okay, right. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but that <laughs> we have to come back here when we've got firepower. That's what I was talking about before. There are some areas that you just need to stay well clear of. Yeah, the power plant. Wait, the power plant's here? Maybe I needed to go that side in order to for that to pop in to say what it was. Okay, now that I've done that, did that give me this? Manually refills your air tank? Ooh, okay. Right, so... Grab a little bit of scrap. That should be fine. What else was it? We got the scrap and the... Oh, is it just rubber? Oh, no. I think I'm going to be out of rubber. No, no. We found a bunch of it just last night, didn't we? While we were out. So, should have some in here. There we go. That's perfect. So, does that mean we have everything we need to make the small air tank now? Maybe? Do we do it? <laughs> I don't really know how this works. So... What's this? Oh, this is upgrading the bench. Scrap metal spear. Oh, I could definitely use one of those. If I run out of bolts or something. Oh, water bottle. I can do that. Glass. Let's grab the two glass. And let's go ahead and research that. Okay, turns out I still need a little bit more in the way of ingots. So let's grab this last of the ore. I think I may have to find some more as well because we're all out after that. And then I can put that into the furnace, which is going to make me an ingot, which I should have everything to make the small air tank with then. So place you in there. And then what was the other thing that I wanted to make? The water bottle. Can I just make that? Nice. And then I should be able to fill this up. I put you onto there. And then what's that? Five. Take. We have that now? Yeah, we do. Nice. Oh, look at that. 40 thirst. We can just drink from this, though, so let's just grab that. All right, we're looking good. So I'm going to make the uh, the small air tank, and I think we're going to go back out again. I think what I might do as well is check on the trader to see if any items have been cycled, because did we find... Where did I place that? I think it was upstairs. We have found <laughs> when we were over there on that, like, uh, raft, we found a diamond as well as some extra little things that we can sell if we need to. Where did I place them? I put them somewhere where I wouldn't forget them, and now I've forgotten where that place was. <laughs> there they are. Okay, so there's the diamond ring. That's the bottle of wine. And the silver coins. I'm just going to keep hold of them, just in case I need them. But is the ingot ready? Because that's what we really need. There we go. And then now, I can go to small air tank. Craft. And I love this as well. There's like a separate little area for all your scuba stuff. So, put the air tank on there. And then what's that going to do for our... Being underwater time. Oh, that's so much nicer. <gasps> okay, yeah, we can get so much more collected now. The only problem that it's going to be now is because you're kind of playing catch up all the time. This is the case in any survival game. But you see this? You see how we don't have the biggest of chests and then it's just our own backpack, which we've added to already because I've got the small rucksack on. But this is all we've got to work with. So it's constantly going back and forth. If there's a way we can build like a, a bigger boat maybe no the paddle boat maybe we got to find the blueprint for it first or something i don't know i guess we'll keep searching but i'll be back with you guys in a second then we're going to head to the trader and see what she's got we've decided to call her gladys by the way <laughs> again don't ask guys don't ask okay so before we set off let's have a look at what we got then bandage we got the water bottle some fish some soda some reserve gas we got the expensive stuff in case she's got anything nice over there and some extra wood in case we need it. So, let's head over there. And here we go. It says that you can actually speed this thing up. You can see that at the bottom there, but it just sounds louder rather than moving faster. Oh no, there we go. It's working a little bit now. I don't know if the wind is against you, but... Yeah, you see how it's slowed down again? <laughs> I don't know if that actually works, but maybe in small bursts. I should search things like that. Look at that. That whole entire underwater building there. That's so good. And now that I've got the, um, the small air tank, it should be golden. I need to get the air tank filling station as well. Let's get out of here and see what she's got. Let's see what she says. Not much left to survive on around here. <laughs> I hate how it's cut off. I really wish there was just random lines that she would say to. I think that's really, really cool. 
All right, what have you got then? You've got ballistic fiber. Ooh, I really like this. I feel like I should take that. We found this stuff. Electronic parts, glass, scraps, food cans, antibiotics. Now, I didn't know if, because antibiotics are actually in this, if you actually get things like infection or anything, or if it's just a health regen. We've got the paint for, uh, or the blueprint for paint, wallpaper, floor tile. Okay, that wasn't there before. The fishing rod. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to get the fishing rod, even though this is easy to make. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Before I try that, underwater scooter. What can you offer me? Do I give her the diamond ring? Silver coins? Get lost. Okay, hold on. A bottle of wine. Get lost. Okay. She's just shouting at me now. Diamond ring? Wait, you don't want a diamond ring for this? Okay, you drive a really hard bargain. I'm not, I'm definitely not going any higher than that. What about the flintlock pistol? Silver? No deal. Great stuff. Yeah, I bet. With the diamond ring and the silver. What about the bottle of wine? No. What about roasted fish? I need more than that. You know what? I don't think it's worth it. Because I really want this thing. I really want the scooter. And if she's not going to do me a deal for that, then yeah. No, I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to take my business elsewhere, Gladys. I'm sorry. I'll be back, though. See, look at this. I want to take this as well, just so I can start playing it. All right. We're going to go out on adventure. Where was we before? We was at the refinery, which is... Wow, where are we? I'm so turned around. Oh, it's this thing up here. All right. Let's go back over that way, then. And I guess I can take a look at this, seeing as though I'm going past it as well. Play around with the, uh, the air tank a little bit. I really only use, like, a liter of fuel getting there and back, so I'm not too worried about that. But... I really, really should be finding more of it as well, because seeing as though when there's going to be two of us, <laughs> we're going to be using a lot of this. And is there anything that I can store in there? Let's get rid of these for now. And I'm going to keep them on me because I don't know how long I'm going to be down there for. In fact, let's just top up on that and that, and then we are good. Here we go. Right, we'll start here. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Can't use that underwater, okay. What about this, no? Can I get around the back of this thing? Oh yeah, yep, you can, yep. Oh nice, we got the shark fin. Wait, what did I need for that? It was the rucksack, right? I've not seen a shark that looked like that. That was more like a great white than anything. Right, what about, is the air tank just running down now? It is, okay, so you have to fill up the air tank. You've just got to use it while you've got it, so. Let's scavenge what we can. That's actually a win for us, though. The fact that we just took that shark down. Now we can get that uh, backpack. Our rucksack is what I was trying to say. And then get that extra space. Ooh, these are good, too. Let's grab this. The fins definitely help, but I feel like that having that scooter would be so good. Wait. Just because of the speed that you could go around looting stuff. I mean, the batteries don't seem too expensive, either. But it would be real nice. Look at all this stuff that we're grabbing. All the scrap, the glass, the rubber too. There we go. All but blocked up. Yeah, there's not really much here. Apart from this stuff, can we open that? Oh, you can break the door down? What? Okay, I've not seen that yet. What's this? And a pudding. Oh, another diamond ring. Nice. Antibiotics too. Ooh, okay. All right, I'm full. Let's get back over there. I guess we're going to see what's going to happen with the, uh, the O2 now. Yeah, it's just going to switch straight to the O2. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, I basically stayed down there on one full tank. And if we can get bigger O2 tanks as well, obviously that's really going to help. So... Get rid of the cloth. Antibiotics. What's this? Lung function booster? Ooh. I'm going to try one of these. Cotton seeds. Ooh, we definitely needed those. Yeah, cotton is getting really hard to find. Put in. Put that in there. The diamond ring. Yeah, this is all good stuff. Especially this. The scrap. The meat. Components. Put that in there too. And I'll put the bottle in there as well. Right, let me try one of these. Diving time increased. Yeah, he's just slowing the O2 drain. Okay. That's good as well. Is this just for metal? 
Alright, we'll leave that. Another door. Oh, he's just rounded there. No, I've been bamboozled. And... Nope, don't want any of that stuff. Can be a little bit more selective now. All that business, nope. I'm still a little bit nervous about the sharks. <laughs> I don't mind telling you guys, even though we took one down pretty easily then. And we're a stone's throw away from where we saw, what was it over there? The mutants, right? Yeah, we should be careful. Got the containers over here. It really does feel lived in this world and that's why I really like it. I was saying that in the first episode. What's this? We have components, scrap, wood, cloth. What is that? Is that a tanker? Oh, can we get gasoline from this? What's this gonna give us? Come on, give us some good stuff. RXS. Yeah, you'd think that there'd be, I mean, I don't know if it'd be usable, but you'd think that'd be like a, uh, a fuel truck or something. This big pipe over here too. Yeah, there's more over there. You could literally spend hours under the water in this, which you probably should, like in order to get a lot of the items you need. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, all the scrap we'll ever need. Alright, let's get back to the boat. And then we're going to go towards the uh, the refinery as well. I'm going to drop this stuff off. And then we're going to see what's over there. Because it looked like there was like a little, a little system that we could go through. Like a little doorway. So we'll drop this off and then we'll keep going down there. I'll see you guys <laughs> in a second. Wait, no way have they got like a bus... It is. Look at that. Like, between these two rocks. Oh, they're marauders too. Be careful. That's so sick. At one time, that was probably roaming the lands. Trying to keep any mutants away from climbing on. Super, like, zombie apocalyptic style as well. I love that. The whole point of this is just to explore a little bit. See where we can go. When we get to about halfway on the O2, we're going to turn around. Ooh, what is all this stuff? Ooh, blueprint. Okay, so switch. I mean, we may as well hold on to all of that. The crates and things is what I'm looking for, right? we got to go back because we're going to struggle with that O2. Just so let me get my bearings. I keep thinking these are sharks too and they're not. All right, so we got a crystal chandelier. Okay, we can learn this. So that frees up a little bit of space in the inventory too. And same as that next to the boat. Is there any space here? Or is it full? No, we're good. Let's put all that in there. What is that again? That's just a shirt, isn't it? I keep thinking that's a police shirt, but it's not. Glass and duct tape. All right, here we go. There were some extra little areas like around the back too. So let's just keep it going. Oh, there we go. Weapons, weapons. That's what we need. Here's another one of those benches again. And, okay, advanced parts, chemicals and stuff. What's through here? Got a locker here. Oh yeah, you guys already know. <laughs> I'm making him wear those. Can we open that? Nope. Oh, I'm risking it now. Get back. <sighs> this is gonna be close. Oh, I keep forgetting the fins definitely help. But, I mean, look how close that is. Got ourselves a couple of skirts, though. <laughs> He's definitely going to be trying them out. Oh, we got a safe as well. Come on, give me something really, really good or really valuable. <gasps> Broken stun SMG. Oh, yes! That's what we needed. Wait, wait. No, oh, no way. Okay, hold on. Let me get rid of the shirt for a second I guess and the blueprint for that learn it yes and can we open this back up take that and there's some more valuable in there okay I'm coming back for this that is exactly what I wanted to find just something randomly rare like that that oh look how close this is oh that's gonna be close oh I don't want to start chunking my health all right let's put you in there the skirts the glass, the rubber, the cloth, advanced parts, and components. We can't put anything else there. I've got one space on here. Guess that frees up a little slot. <laughs> it's 
do it. Let's go back down and get that other stuff. I didn't quite see what it was. It might have been a lamp or something. But I'm going to try and take everything that I can. What was this? I don't really care about that shirt. We'll leave that. The wine. <laughs> the shoes. Yeah, and the wall lamp. We'll grab that too. Can't go through there. Got another one here. Come on, come on. Nice and quick. And let's take it. Take it while we can. Don't know what's in there. Go. Oh, this is going to hurt. No. Come on. Oh, swim. Oh, he's chunking my health. Get up. Oh, I hate that feeling. I really, really hate that feeling. So we got more advanced parts. We got shoes. I'm kind of happy with how we're looking right now. We got like work gloves and everything on. We got the body armor as well. Yeah, we're looking good. All right. Let's not risk it. Let's start turning back. That is a good, good haul. Have we discovered this? No. Okay, that's the one that we couldn't... Wait, is it? Or was it that one? Yeah, we didn't discover this one either. I'm so tempted just to go on the land and just take out whatever's there, but an island this big makes it seem... Yep, that is going to be bad news to go over there. <laughs> Get away! I didn't see that one there in like the, uh, like the little bunker or something. Where else have we got? Let's have a look at the map. So we're kind of on the outskirts here. That one up there didn't kind of show in. Yeah, all right, let's get back home. And we'll make note of what we've got. And we'll see if we can just get a little bit ahead again. So that when we're together... We've got everything we need. The scuba diving fins is going to be huge. Because as much as the ones I've got now have really, really helped. And they definitely do, like you guys just saw. They give you like a burst of speed. When we combine the uh, the scuba diving fins with other scuba diving gear, we'll be able to stay down there for way longer. Ooh. I'm going to have to look at how to get the, uh, the things that will fill the air tanks up too. It's like half five now. I've got just a little bit of time. If I can find something down there, have I got the space? I've got one slot. Am I going to get that lucky though? Oh, I really don't think I will get that lucky, but I'm going to check. It's not too far down. Where is it? Have they built there on purpose because it's right next to it? Right, we're right above it. Stop and... Oh, that's a shark. Get in there. Go. Get in! Get in through the window! Nice! We got lockers here. What is all this? Oh no, it's just clothing. No! Helmets and stuff? Okay. Oh, there's so much in there. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back. I'm gonna have to. Oh, get up! Oh! <laughs> Threading the needle through sharks! Oh, this is bad. Get up! Nice! No! Where's the. This? There we go. Yeah, there's no sense in risking it when it's getting dark like this, but that is a really good find. There's lockers in there. It looks like there could be weapons down there too, so we'll definitely come back to that. Okay, so a brand new day, and we are not slowing down anytime soon. Where's the police station? It's just to the left over here. I want to know what's in those lockers. I want to try and get whatever we can. I've offloaded everything else, and I was also looking what else I needed for the, uh, for the rucksack. And I think it's just Marlin. That I need, so I may try and take them down here. Here we go. Yeah, we got sharks here as well. Oh, this is gonna be so. I'm, I may have to just get rid of them while they're here. Come on, let's get you out of there. Pick you up. Oh, no! I gotta get around the back. Nice. Come on. Come on, big guy. Go down. Nice. Oh, <laughs> come on. And you too. Yes! Shark's weak spot is on its six. Oh, there we go. Get up to the surface. Oh, get up there, please. Nice. Okay. And get in there. Got the marlin stuff, the shark stuff. Basically everything. That's going to give us some extra food as well. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. And then we're going to pop one of those. I'm going to get that last marlin in a second too, but I'm going to go straight down. Look at the police cars as well. We've got those box trucks. All right, let's go. Come on. Give us something good. 
Oh, ballistic fiber and another bolt action. Oh yes, that is exactly what we needed. So we've broke that open. Let's just get all the clothes. What is that thing? A garden lamp. <laughs> I mean, we'll take it, why not? Some ammunition. And we gotta break that open. All right, no, we gotta get some oxygen. Let's get to the surface. Oh, that's such a good find though. Some more weapons like that. That's what we need. We definitely need to focus in on getting some more firepower. Places like this. That's what's going to be the problem. If we want to take the good stuff, what they have, you got to have more firepower or at least something to match them. All right, here we go. Diving time increased. I wonder if we can get something from the vehicles. We may as well try. I wonder if it's just going to be... Let's see what we can get from the... Oh, you can get ammunition and stuff. Oh, look at all that ammo. Oh, my God. Okay, if we ever need ammunition, it's the police vehicles. What we got? We can get cloth from there. And wait, are we full? Is that a Desert Eagle? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> the police station is so good. That is the place that you want to loot. Probably like one of the first places that we should have gone to, to be honest. But I think when we came here the first time, it was night time, so it's the reason why we didn't shotgun ammunition. Pistol ammo, broken police helmet, which I think we can repair. Long sleeve shirt. What else we got? Desert camo, bolt action, the ballistic fiber. Rifle ammo, forest boots. This is so, so good. There's another building there as well. There's no way I go through all of this on my own. <laughs> We've got to do like multiple trips back here. And yeah, grab all of that. We'll learn this one real quick, so we got it. Anything else? There's gotta be, yeah there is. Oh, there's a safe too. Come on, please. Something rare. And coins, my shoes. Oh. A jet stream boat rider? Is that, a, that's a four person boat. Go, 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 go. Get up there. Come on, <laughs> swim. Definitely got to look at getting the uh, the extra scuba stuff, but we got a new boat by the looks of it. Hold on. Let's have a look at that. How was that in build? Boats? Yeah, this. A wooden sailboat that can be accompanied by four people. Let's just do one more pass, see what we can find. I don't think there was any more safes. That was the last one. There was a box here. We'll check out what that is. No, it just needs breaking up. And yeah, this way. Okay, those barrels... There is another building over to the left. Oh, here we go. Some gun parts, we'll grab that. Come on, keep going. Got plenty of time. It's so much fun doing this too. Like, they've done it so well where it's satisfying to loot. Come on. Anything worth that, the cloth? I mean, I guess I'll take all of it. I've got the space. Anything in here? Oh, no, I've not got the time. I've not got the time. I'm gonna get greedy, I'm gonna die. No, come on, get to the surface. We've got a really, really, really good haul there. Come on. If you're wondering what they are, by the way, it's just a couple of clothes. I'm leaving them behind. I don't need them. It's nothing super fancy. All right, let's get back home. So I'm going to look at what it takes to get the diving fins, the scuba diving stuff. And then basically just make sense of all of this and try and get some weapons going. The amount of stuff that we actually found today is actually insane. We really need, if there is a way of just building like a massive boat, just full of storage, and somebody let me know in the comments, because I think we need to do that. Like just stack line after line of boxes or something like that. I think that's really, really going to help. All right, let's put these in here. That's a really good find, the ballistic fiber. I'm pretty sure we can make some cool stuff out of that. And then, what was the last thing in here? Was this for the rucksack? Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, did I only get one? No. Okay, we're going to have to go out real quick and try and find another one. Perfect. All right, here we go. Got one. And we got one skin there. Do you not always get skin when you harvest them? Maybe I, like, missed one or something. I probably had to, but I've put one in a box or something. Either way, we've got, we've got more of it now, so it's not really a wasted journey. And we got more food, too, so... When we fought any of these guys before, when they've got weapons, they really do damage. Like, they really, really do damage. 
And as much as I have, like, the crossbow and stuff, and I do have body armor now, which is this thing here, it's only plus 15. So we could be in really big trouble if they've got, like, shotguns and stuff. It doesn't look like it, but, like, up there might be a complete... Oh, there is one up there. Oh, there's a couple up there. There's, there's one higher and there's one just off the back bit. I just want to take a look at this bus. <laughs> I absolutely love that. So sick looking. Oh, we'd have to break that door open too. See, he doesn't look like he's got much, but... The closer I got, he'd probably have like a, a bazooka or a grenade launcher or something like that. Yeah, let's just leave it for now. We're getting closer to having weapons, and if I try and rush it, then it'll all be for nothing. Oh, no way. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made the backpack, and we're ready to put that on now. I didn't tell you guys about this either. It was just something Fisk made for protection, but I just noticed we might have looked stupid with having that on and not be, uh, not be telling you guys anything about it. But we actually have the scuba diving fins ready to go. It's 10 rubber and 6 duct tape. I'm going to get those. I'm going to test those puppies out as well. Right, let's put that back on. Put the helmet back on and then take this one off. And then put that one on. Ooh, wait, wait. So how many did that give us? So, oh, that's like two extra lines. Yeah, look at that. You can't put this on with it. No, that just gives you one extra line. Okay, well, I mean, wait, do we have anything in that? Okay, it doesn't really change much. All right, well, we can put this in, I guess, in there for a spare. Or if we're going out with just, like, weapons or something, we can use one sack. But we are definitely leveling up now. But I need ten rubber and six duct tape. Oh, you know what? I think we used all the duct tape on. So, Oh, no, we didn't. There we go. And the question is, <laughs> do I have any rubber left? Because we've been using it for building a lot of this stuff. Got to chop them down as well and replant stuff. There's so many things to do when you're surviving. <laughs> like, it never ends. Let's see. Nothing in there. And that's just clothing. The extra stuff we found at the police station. Yeah, we're not going to have... I don't think... Oh, wait. There we go. There's one. Three. That takes up to six. Ten. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We can make them. Just not going to have enough left for Fisk. <laughs> that's fine, though. I'll let him test drive mine when I've made them. So these are the normal diving fins and scuba fins. All right. Let's take these bad boys out for a stroll. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so different. Look at this. Oh, you can get so much done with these. Or even just getting away from like a shark or something. That is so worth it. Gotta do something about our stamina as well. I know lemons really, really replenishes the stamina, and I do have some seeds too, so let's just grab some of these. Wait, do we not? What were those? Are they the cotton seeds? Put that in. Put that in. Let's go ahead and chop all these up. It's actually, again, it's really, really satisfying just collecting all this stuff that you've planted too. You feel like you're actually accomplishing something in this. A lot of survival games, you don't really get that satisfying feeling it becomes almost like a grind which survival should be but i think you guys know what i'm getting at it feels more tedious to do the normal things which should be fun like if you're surviving especially in a place like this you should enjoy doing it if you are surviving well what's this one is that for a bush let's throw some potatoes in there one thing we're definitely gonna have to think about doing is reinforcing the perimeter of this island or at least a small section around here but then can they come in from the top because the mutants or whoever's going to be attacking next they're going to be bringing some heavy hitting stuff whether it be clubs spears possibly even bows arrows crossbows we've got to be prepared for that there we go some extra wood as well okay so with the sun going down guys i think this is where we're going to end it i am sorry that i didn't get that extra episode in there but hopefully this does make up for it where I've I've basically caught you guys back up on everything that we've done and we've done a little bit of exploration and adventure in ourselves. So if you do want to see more Sunken Land, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to keep up to date with everything. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.